Intel has just released the fastest desktop processor yet, the Intel Core i9-12900KS. In this video, we will explain the features of the new CPU, compare it to the regular K model, as well as compare performance benchmarks. On the surface, there seems to be very little difference between the i9-12900K and the i9-12900KS. Both have the same number of cores and threads, support for DDR5 and PCIe 5.0, and of course use the same LGA1700 socket. These are pretty much similar CPUs in terms of physical looks and base features. What separates the KS from the K is due to the KS being a specially bin processor, which has higher base and boost clock speed. 5.5 GHz on a KS versus 5.2 GHz on a K model for P core boost frequency, and 4 GHz on a KS versus 3.9 GHz on a K model for E core boost frequency, meaning there should be a performance boost which we will see in the benchmark results later. With higher clock frequencies, means there is an increase in heat. The i9-12900KS adds about 25 more watt in terms of PBP processor base power versus the regular K model, which means it is highly recommended to have a decent CPU cooler when using this processor. However, just about how much performance increase are we getting between the K and the KS model? Thanks to Intel, we are able to get our hands on the KS model and compare it to our K model. Our test system consists of an ASUS ROG C690 Maximus Hero motherboard, 32GB of Corsair 5600MHz DDR5 memory, an ASUS Ryogen 2 360mm all-in-1 liquid cooler to keep our processor cool, and an EVGA RTX 3090 for the Win3 Ultra. The test system is running on the latest version of Windows 11 with all the latest drivers and BIOS installed at the time of testing. Our method of benchmarking is the best of three run with each prospective benchmarking software, with both stock settings and ASUS AI overclock enabled. For our first benchmark, Cinebench R20. We can see an almost 7% gain in performance with power limit in force, and with ASUS AI overclock enabled, a 6% increase in performance. For Cinebench R23, with power limit in force, we can see an almost 8% increase in performance and 6.5% gain in performance with ASUS AI overclock enabled. Overall, there's a small increase in performance with both benchmarks. Same can be said with our 7 zip benchmark with a 4.5% increase with power limit in force and almost a 5% increase with ASUS AI overclock enabled. Wrapping up with Time Spy and Time Spy Extreme, we can see a performance increase between 2 to 6%. Lastly is the price. The Intel Core i9 12900KS retails for $800 while the i9-12900K costs around $600 to $650. It is a significant price increase from the processor that previously to be the best for gaming, but with the extra cost, it provides a worthwhile amount of performance increase on certain workloads. As you can see, there is a small amount of performance improvement between the KS and the K model. If maximum performance is something you are looking for, and you have deep pockets to pair it with top-of-the-line components, we recommend getting the i9-12900KS. Thanks again to Intel for providing us with an early release of the i9-12900KS for us to test, and Asus for providing us with the BIOS update needed to get these benchmarks. All the parts featured in our test system are available here at Central Computers. Feel free to stop by the Smart Tech Store in the San Francisco Bay Area and we will see you in the next video.